Well, the countdown to Halloween is officially in commence. We are almost there, I right? Know, two two nights away. We're, yeah. yeah two so days. this night is known for everyone to get dressed in their spookiest or funniest. Or does your mama know you're wearing that attire? Oof. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. And partake in all of the Halloween festivities, and a big one, of course, being trick or treating. Right. Which is fun for all ages, or at least it's supposed to be. Yeah. So according to Fortune, Virginia has a pretty strict law against trick or treating after the age of 12. It's crazy. They even have a law in the book that says violators could face a hundred dollar fine and possible jail time. That is to me, that is crazy. I can't imagine getting I, a Kit Kat in a costume and, and then now getting I'm, a ticket. I'm, <laughs> Now I'm 100 bucks. Spending the night in jail. 100 bucks light because I wanted to go trick or treating. Because I'm, I'm trying to think. I stopped trick or treating. I want to say it might have been like, might have been like senior year. I didn't go, um, but it was just because I think I stayed at the house to hand yeah. out candy. Yeah. Because there was nobody else that had to do it, so I had to, and it wasn't anybody really going. But yeah, it's senior year. But that would be like 16, 17. Yeah. So I would, I would have been getting a ticket. I don't think that's right. I don't either. I can honestly say I feel like. Like, I would still want to go trick-or-treating right now as an adult. Like, got, that's fun. We got Dax a Peapod costume. Jazz and I are like, let's go rack up <laughs> some candy go. bars. Yes. Are you kidding me? It's the whole point. I totally agree. Now, we actually yeah. we actually went out and wanted to know what you guys had to there think about There has to be it. somebody out there. This book, this rule got made by somebody who thinks this is okay, so we had to find out yeah. what you guys So think. we actually hit the streets of Jacksonville. Yes. We went out to see what you guys had to say about it. And this is what you had to say. All right, we gotta find some people. Yeah, I gotta find a spot. Oh, barbershop. You know they'll have an opinion. Definitely. What's your name? Zymer Pleasant. Pleasant? You you have a pleasant face, you know that? Thank you. <laughs> Do you think there should be a cutoff age for Halloween? How no. old are you? Eight years old. You're eight years old? What are you gonna be for Halloween? Uh, a ninja turtle. Imagine if somebody told you when you got to 13, you can't go trick or treating. It would be sad to me. I don't think it's right. We need to let the kids be kids. Right? I feel like I feel like going into high school, you really shouldn't be able to trick or treat. So they're actually wanting to cap it off at 12. Oh, uh, really? Okay. I mean, yeah, I there should be. But 13 candy thinking, still tastes good. I know, you're right. You can ignore him. I do every day. What do you got? Some chips? Can I have some? Oh, you're sweet. Well, I, I feel like 12, you're probably a little old to be trick-or-treating anyway, right? I believe kids should still be kids and still enjoy each and every holiday. That would be me, and I would feel sad. Really? Yep. Wow, that, that seems a little extreme for trick-or-treating. <laughs> so a lot of people agree. I don't know how this, this, rule, this law got made. I don't, I don't know either. I don't know how it's still around. Is Thankfully, it's not in our state. Right. Because I'm going to be trick-or-treating, just so you guys know. I plan yeah. on doing that for sure. Jazz and I were just talking about that last night, about how much candy we got to buy. Now, we, don't know how many people we still want to know what you guys yeah. have to think, because for those of you that are, that are at home, that we didn't happen to catch out there sure. on the streets, feel free to weigh in on our Facebook page. And if you haven't liked and follow us already, be sure to do that uh, too. But weigh in on the conversation. We've got a few comments already out there. People that are... Um, I think they kind of feel the same way we do, I as mean, far as like, you should be able to go out there and trick-or-treat. Look, I get it. They did it so that they could ticket unruly teenagers just in case they they caught them doing bad stuff which maybe that happens maybe it doesn't anyway right